Hi there, my cutiest of all cutinesses! Today, as you see, I am Poppy from the movie The Trolls! And this video is a collaboration with two extremely extraordinary, fantastic, marvelous makeup artists. The first one is Andrea Bella. She is amazing. And then the wonderful, great Julia Rose Salvia, with who I did a collaboration last year too as Winter Brides. So, I will link in the prescription box below how they did their puppy looks. And I can recommend you to watch them both so that you can see how we all three are doing puppy. So if you want to see how I became my version of puppy, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Hello my sweet beast. As you can see on my hair, I am not gonna be a smurf today. From the movie Trolls, I'm gonna be Poppy. She's always happy, always positive. It is such a fun movie. I know she is so, so cute and pretty. And I tried to make a hairdo that is not exactly like Poppy, but it'll, it'll do, you know, <laughs> it'll do. Now what I'm going to do is, instead of painting myself completely, I'm gonna do a version of her that's cartoonish enough to go to a Halloween party, but that is doable with normal makeup or with the least amount of investment. You don't have to buy an entire face paint palette or special nose prosthetics or special ear prosthetics you can just be poppy your way this is my version of poppy and instead of a pink i have a purple wig but i love it and this is something that i have no idea where it ever came from it's a very long ribbon and i have twisted it around my head several times so that i also have green felt like flowers on my head. So I'm gonna take a light foundation and I'm gonna mix that with pink paint so that I get a soft light pink coverage that I'm gonna use on my face. Because I want to be poppy, you know? Poppy's pink, you know? <laughs> Sorry. I have got this, um, it's liquid paint, it's kids paint so it should be safe. I'm making a mixture of a little, let's say a half a teaspoon of moisturizer so it's not more than what you see in the bottom there. I'm gonna add to that some concealer with a pink undertone so that might be a good beginning like so, so that's just a concealer and then I'm gonna take my foundation and I'm gonna pump some in there let's say a teaspoon of that double of the moisturizer and now I'm gonna take my paint and I'm gonna see if I have a spatula here I'm gonna scoop out, let's say one to start one or two scoops of my spatula and then I'm starting to stir this up. I'll have to add a lot more pink so to see if I see poppy. So I'm taking two more scoops and let's stir that thing. Trying to get that one consistent. Consistency. Good one. Well that was a good one. Now I'm gonna see what that color says on the hand or on the arm. Ah, that gives a nice pink, 
pinky 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 color a color that looks a lot like poppy and it is moisturized and it is foundation so it's a good with a stippling brush I'm gonna start applying this definitely the ears too I feel so pink. <laughs> I'll do the neck too, to the dress. Just not the arms, but I will do this to in my dress. And if I'd see what I do and where I do it, I would do the back of my neck too, but I'm going as far as I can. I really think the color is perfect for Poppy. Now, the thing that has the most color with her is actually her nose. So what I'm gonna do first is powder this and set it with some air spa. Brush in my eye. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> Well, this color is much more than I had expected of it, so it's very simple to make. You only need a little bit of pink paint. You can also, if you use enough moisturizer, just scrape some pink eyeshadow in it. So, if you put some pink eyeshadow in it, you don't have to buy acrylic paint. Her brows are very fine, very beautiful, and they are, you would say pink, but they do have a little tiny Bordeaux touch. I'm gonna start with a blush. And with that blush, I am going to draw on her eyebrows. And they're very cute, very high. Start in a tip. Get thicker, come round it down. So, so far for these cute brows, and I think the color is very well matching. You can make it a little bit more dark, but you will need an eyeshadow that's a tone darker than this blush is. Or you can take just a darker blush. I think I can add a little bit of this mixed with that. So, more to a brownish pink yeah that are poppy brows now poppy has very round white eyes I'm also making my lashes as white as I can. Because Poppy has got beautiful, beautiful white eyes. So I'm going to make them as round as I can. So I'm going up to my own crease. And then it is time to take black liner, a very pointy brush and some gel eyeliner 
and I'm gonna create a circle around that so that I don't have a tear duct area or anything that has the shape of a human eye. You can, of course, use your normal eye shape, but as it's a doll, I'm gonna rock the doll look, of course. And I'm going to make three very big but short lashes on top. And that third one I'm making more on the outer edge, pointing a bit more down. Puppy eyes! Yay! Where the lashes meet the edge of the eye, I'm gonna make the eyeliner a little bit thicker. Not the rest of the circle, just that little part. Now for the working of, of the eye, of the white of the eye, I'm going to use white eyeshadow. And with a flat small brush, I am going to set the cream. Now I am going to take the liner that I was using for black and I'm gonna roll in black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna set the lashes and maybe the circle so that if you would go out like this it would stay all night. There, my puppy eyes are ready and I'm not gonna do anything else about it because my own pupils will be the pupil of puppy because they are purple. So what I now want to start drawing on is her nose and that's a very special case. <laughs> that's a really special case and I want to draw that on with a small white pencil. Her nose has a little bump like mine has, so that is perfect. Then her nose goes out the same way as mine. My nose comes in handy, yay! <laughs> her nose goes from the pointy to an open shape that does that so it gets a lot wider and that has got some shape that is like that it goes up and curves back down and then it goes up to her nose again where it's just round. I am going 
to use this green pencil to color this in so that I can do this nose just with an eyeshadow. And I can use my jumbo pencil in milk for that because that does bigger surfaces much more easy. And I'm thinking which color am I gonna take because it's a kind of dark pink but I have more of a purple hairdo than the real Poppy and with Poppy her nose is the same as the hair yes in the pictures Poppy's nose is the exact same color as her hair so instead of being the traditional Poppy I'm going a bit my way with it and I'm going to do it with a more purplish tone. Taking a tulip brush and I'm going into a little bit of purple and pink and I'm mixing two together to make this nose color and I'm tapping it on because I really want it to cover all that green That's Poppy Nose! I'm taking a lighter pink and giving it a highlight here and there so that it's not that one big consistent same nosy wosy and that it has a little bit of a yeah a move to it. This darker color is gonna be perfect for Poppy's little cheeks. With a round brush I'm gonna make these high round real apple cheeks now I'm taking a mixture of shimmery pinks and dotting that onto the cheeks too so they are a bit more shimmery and highlighted it does need a little bit more of a light highlight and I'm taking a white and a very soft pink for that which is gonna come right on top of that blushy cheek I can do that with my normal highlighter too I'll give it a go Cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now with a pink pencil I'm gonna do a little bit outlining of my nose Much better. <laughs> Just put a line here and there to give it some more definition too. And I am gonna do the same with a white pencil. Give some highlights to the nose. She's got all white freckles. And those freckles I'm gonna do with little crystals. So, for now, I want to do a lip. I'm gonna check out several other pictures from Poppy. And all I can see is that her lips actually don't have a color except for this color. They just have an outline. I think without lipstick it's a bit sad. So I am going to do a lipstick, but this time without making a huge outlined lip. I'm just gonna do a thin lip 
but with that smile line extended. So as you see, instead of outlining, I'm inlining my lips. And with this same product and a tiny little brush, I am going to do the extension. This is exactly the mouth that a poppy would have if she was human. All I'm gonna do now is take some crystals. So with a little bit of lash glue and a toothpick or any applicator, I am going to dot on a bunch of freckles on which I'm gonna stick crystals. But you can just as well make dots with a white pencil. There you go! I think I'm a very cute and I'm gonna go back into white eyeshadow. With purple shimmery liner, I am going to outline my nose a little bit more. Now, if you want, you can use a pigment, just a tiny bit on the nose to give it an extra shimmer. I like that more than how the nose was. This is my poppy look. I think I'm ready. So, I don't know what you think, but I like it. I really like it. And I'm going to use to give me some extra 3D freckles. So, I want you to meet our newest family member, look at this. This is Titske and Titske is presenting to you the final of this look as Poppy. So he and I really want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below, give me some thumbs up and for me there's as always just one thing left to say and that is <laughs> My love for makeup is spread all over to you and I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye bye! Sure hope you got that! And that too! <laughs> bye!